Good mythical morning. After declaring independence, Americans wrestled free from the whims of monarchy with the signing of the Treaty of Paris in 1783. But then, in 1953, mm. we were blindsided by the founding and subsequent rise of a divinely chosen new king, the Burger King. And as with any mercurial king, BK seems to make decisions willy-nilly despite claiming we can have it our way. And as such, they have offered and subsequently discontinued menu items with no input from the public. Until today, we say, no menu changes without representation. It's time for To Be Discontinued, Burger King Edition. Mythical Chef Josh has faithfully recreated actual Burger King items that have been discontinued. And we're gonna taste them and decide, bring it back or nah, it's whack. Now put on your acid wash jeans and turn up the banana ramble because we're about to eat the 80s. BK Doubles were a snappy marketing campaign aimed at selling double cheeseburgers with three specialty flavors, including the intriguing pizza cheeseburger. Let's take a look at a concerned citizen's take on the BK Doubles. The following does not necessarily reflect the opinion of Burger King. By offering three new burgers, Burger King only proves they'll stop at nothing to make America hungry. Two juicy flame broiled patties, okay, but a pizza double burger with mozzarella? Burger King, you've gone too far. Mmm. You've gone too, too far. far. Now, unfortunately, a concerned con citizen Clifford Kendall has also been discontinued. <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm kind of guessing just based on how Rest old he was in at peace, the time. Peace, concerned citizen Clifford. Look at right. this thing. So we've got it right here. Uh, Rhett, tell me what's on this thing. I'm guessing marinara sauce. Okay, basically, here's what we did, uh, or here's what Josh did. He studied the commercial frame by frame and then compared the ingredient notes with other products that use similar toppings, and then he built the burger. So it's two single patties from the king himself, uh, layered with the cheapest mozzarella from the store, and marinara sauce, so it's pretty simple. I like the idea of this. I, I, rem I remember these, and they also did like a chicken parm. They did a similar thing to the chicken, the chicken sandwich, sandwiches. The elongated chicken sandwich. That was one of my favorite sandwiches at Burger King. Dink it. it. Let's sink it. Try well, to get a little more sauce. Please don't slurp your burger like that. <laughs> it's good. Um, I could use even more sauce, but it's tasty. Yeah. But it's actually weird because once you the get to that, dry. once you get to that Burger King burger and you know you're in a Burger King zone, it's kind of Jesus. a weird idea, actually. But it's good. I mean, th these two flavors go together. They don't conflict with the beef. You feel a little bit, a little bit sophisticated, like you might be in the Tuscan countryside. I don't know, man. I just like eating burgers. Mm -hmm. I think they should bring it back. It's good, it's really good. Yeah, bring, bring it, it back. back. Now let's zoom forward to June 2016. You may remember an astonishing combination, Mac in Cheetos. Yes, here's a commercial for this Frankenstein's monster of a mozzarella stick. Once again. <laughs> Man. And Cheetos. They blew the budget on that one. Yeah, they <laughs> apparently bought the rights to the 1996 Return of the Mac Mark Morrison hit, which, whew, what? it's even better once you superimpose the King and Chester Cheetah. And Cheeto! Yeah! It's so good, but uh, somewhere Macklemore must be feeling really overlooked. <laughs> yep. Coulda. Could've, Could've been. been me. Could've been. He was, they probably asked. <laughs> I'm excited about these. I predict that these need to be brought back, but we haven't tasted them yet. Yep. We've recreated the packaging. Look at that, with the GMM version. I've got the uh, flaming Hot version over here. You have the yes, regs. Look at that, so. Mmm, here's what we did. We, um, we looked at all the flavor reviews. A lot of people said that it tasted just like Kraft Easy Mac inside, right. so that's what we did. We took Kraft Easy Mac, chilled it, rolled it, um, in the cheese puff curl type situation. Breaded it with Cheeto dust, fried it, added more Cheeto dust. Now here we are. This is super impressive that you did this without burning it and it's so intact. Kudos, they're not kudos, but kudos to you. I'm gonna break this in half oh, yeah, and that, give it a, that give it a, a nice a little. That would be a very satisfying moment. Snap, crackle pop. Not quite like the commercial, yeah, but. That, that's a different product. Okay. Think it. Of 
course it's good. It's very good. But is the it, question is, is it good enough to bring back? Um, I think the taste is good enough to bring back, but I think at some point, you get right up against the, the line of self-respect that you shouldn't cross, you know? It's like mac and cheese, Cheetos, fried. I don't think you can have all three of those things. If you're a person who respects yourself just a little bit, you can have two of those things. Maybe fried mac and cheese, maybe dip your uh, Cheetos in some mac and cheese, but when you do it and you fry it, I just feel like you're off the charts at that point. Right. I mean, I'm gonna continue eating it. Listen, man, you deserve it. I deserve it. Let's not overanalyze it. It's a beautiful combination of things that no one would argue with. Even if you don't like cheese, Your man. Your cardiologist would argue with it. <laughs> it's so good, though. Who cares? Just okay, if we're throwing caution to the wind, I'll Let tell you, bring, bring it back. back. All right, this next one is a bit controversial because Ooh. in December 2014, Burger King announced it was bringing back the Yumbo, a hot ham and cheese specialty sandwich that was reportedly all the rage in the 70s. Its marketing was heavily focused on nostalgia. Let's take a look. Welcome to Burger King, home of the Yumbo Sandwich. This is Burger King, right? I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> what is going on? What is the Yumbo? That's one of the best things that came out of the 70s. It's like sandwich gold. <laughs> If the sandwich is as good as the commercial, it will not be good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Hi, this, I'm an actor. Where am I? Yeah. Here's why it's controversial because when they launched it on Twitter, everybody started saying, "Hold on a second. We don't remember this. No one remembered the Yumbo." And everyone started thinking that either it was that Mandela effect and we were in a different universe, or Burger King had completely fabricated this whole thing as a clever marketing campaign. Dirty but dogs. We did some research. Boop, 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 boop. And we found out that it was in fact an item from 68 to 74. Okay. So it was a real thing. Thanks Snopes. Um, so false alarm. Yeah. Okay, so. But now I'm gonna sound an alarm. This looks like something from Arby's. <laughs> yeah, it feels like they're crossing out of their territory into some place that they shouldn't be. Okay, so we used the Burger King hoagie buns. We had to buy some Black Forest ham because they don't have that at Burger King. Some Kraft Singles American cheese as well as some mayonnaise and lettuce from the Burger King. Hold, hold on, I, I understand now. We've made a ham sandwich. Isn't it ironic though that this is the only thing with actual ham at a place that sells hamburgers? Yes. Hamburgers? This is like something you eat at the lake. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mom, did you bring anything? I've got some ham and cheese sandwiches that are a little hot. <laughs> you know that time we took that really like long- they, They've been in the back of the yeah, car. Took that long tour for that whole day in Australia, and they said that lunch was provided, and then the guy like pulled out sacks of Nasty yeah. sandwiches. What did he call them? He was like sandwich with let with salad on it. He didn't call he didn't them sandwiches. It. He called them something else that they call them in Australia. But I cannot remember the name of it. Well, this went nowhere. All I know is is that I went to the bathroom because I was like, I've got time, and I came back out, and I was like, what's left? He said, egg salad, <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, very very disappointed. I agree. So just like Mama makes, um, I just leave it to Mama. I'm not gonna go to a store and buy this. Yeah. I do like the name though, Yumbo. But there's nothing. Take the name Yumbo yeah. and you apply can apply it, it to any, anything. anything else. Something there's else. Nothing yummy about this at all. It's just a ham and cheese sandwich. It's boring. So the verdict is nah. Mm, that's that's whack. whack. And now we come to it. Burger King's shameless appropriation of Mexican food, known <laughs> as the Whopperito. Here's what they did. They took all of the ingredients of the Whopper, slap chopped them up, added queso sauce, and wrapped it up in a tortilla. Yeah. It was 2016, anything could happen. Filled with hope. Take a look at this commercial. You say burrito, we say Whopperito. Made with 100% beef, flame grilled, then seasoned and smothered in queso sauce and topped with fresh veggies. Burger King just turned a Whopper into a burrito. It's the Whopperito, and it's only a Burger King. You say burrito, we say Whopperito. I say, probably should start keto. <laughs> this seems like the kind of thing that you would do late at night and not tell anyone about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if this is the kind of thing you break out in the boardroom. Well, um, I would tell you how we made it, but it's you know, <laughs> pretty obvious. I mean, I could have made this, but I still made Josh make it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that you would have rolled the tortilla that nice. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I, I'm gonna get a nice cross section here. Yeah, I, I, I want a cross section just because I want to eat from the cross section. 
Why don't you cut the table a little bit while you're at it? Oh gosh, there's a tomato part in there. That's tomato, I gotta, I gotta get that out. Gotta get that out of my bite. No tomato on my Whoppers. Should have made it myself. Extra beef in there. Here's the thing, public response was extremely negative, um, even though there are 146 people on the Facebook page, bring back the Whopperito Burger King. That's a movement. I gotta weigh the fact that people didn't like it, A, against taste, but B, against convenience. I mean, it's a Whopper that you can just whoop at, at any point, one-handed. I'm going with two. It tastes pretty nice. It actually doesn't taste that nice to me. Well, then you don't like a Whopper, because all it is is a Whopper. I thought that's what was gonna happen. But now that I'm eating it, the sum of the parts is better than just the parts shoved in a tortilla. It's like somebody ate a Whopper, regurgitated it, and now I'm re-eating it. Yeah, this is how I like my Whoppers. Ripped up and put in a tortilla. I've just, I've just figured it out. McDonald's did a similar thing with the Big Mac and like a snack wrap thing for a little bit. That didn't work either. There's something about this experience that feels wrong to me. I think it's the ripped up burger that feels yeah. like a little kid did it. That's exactly what it is. You, you expect to look back there and see like yep. a four year old just ripping <laughs> patties up. And it and it makes a big difference. I mean it's wrong. Like if they, it's made, wrong. A, if they made a specialty meat for it, right. that was still the Burger King beef but it was more taco-ish. If, if it was shaped like it would be on a pizza. Okay, I'll come around. I agree with you. We ain't bringing this back. Nah, mm, that's, that's whack. whack. And so, your magnificence, Mr. Burger King, we beseech you to bring back the pizza burger and the mac and Cheetos. Please, please, please. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Melanie. This is Alyssa. We're from Manhattan, Kansas, doing a kid's meal challenge, and it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Boom, with the force, yeah. Making a difference out there, people. Click the top link to watch us try one more discontinued BK item featuring Shaq himself. Nails? And good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land.